welcome to this video on how to use Canly. This video is for those who have never used Canly before. The best way I find to learn how to use this database is to just jump right in and use it. So let's do this together. To access Canly, um, I find the easiest way is to start on Google and then you just type Canly and click on that, uh, enter, um, and you will get a whole bunch of results and Canly should come up at the very top, of course and you just click on that and it will bring you right to the landing page. You'll notice that at the top, um, there are three um, search bars. And for this introductory video, so I'm going to concentrate on just the top one. And you can see that it says document text there. So what this search bar um, allows you to do is it allows you to do keyword searches. I find that I use keyword searches the most often because a lot of times you're confronted with a legal question and you may not even know what law applies. So I always start very broad and I start using keyword search first. Okay, so let's start with an example. Suppose you're getting a divorce and you want to know what the law says about child support. So uh, you can enter the words um, divorce, child support like that just throw it in um, and then if you go to the right you see this little gray box um, with a little magnifying glass that's the search button so you click on that and right away you'll see that you'll get about 37 um, 39 in fact 39,000 or so of documents uh, 37,000 of which are the cases uh, or court decisions and there are about 410 um, um, pieces of legislation that it has picked up and it also has uh, a commentary which are um, scholarly articles of about 2,000 of them that have come up. So it's, it's picked up a lot of documents and uh, of course no one wants to read that many documents and so what we need to do is we need to learn how to um, how to define our search in a more um, refined way so that Canley will find more relevant results. Okay, so when you just uh, enter the three words, divorce, child, and support, um, Canly, what it will do is it will find documents uh, that have these three words all together in the same document. But these words can appear anywhere in the document. Also, it's looking for documents that have the word divorce, the word child, and the word support, but not necessarily child support together. For example, let's just take a quick look at the results now. If we scroll down, you see that it's picked up the word um, divorced, not just divorce, but divorced, the past tense. And if you go down further, you will see that it has picked up uh, the word supporting and not just support. And you see that um, it's picking up uh, support, even spousal support is picking up support, uh, the word on its own. So the, there is picking up documents that are not necessarily just talking about child support. So if you want Canly to look for child support specifically, you need to um, put in what are called uh, operators. So for, if you want Canly to look for the phrase child support, all you have to do is include some quotation marks around the two words and it will begin to look for um, that phrase. And if you don't want to, uh, to include the word derivatives, you put in the operator exact and put brackets around the phrase. And now it's just gonna look for the word child and it's just gonna look for the word support. And that should hopefully narrow down our search results. So let's take a look. Okay, so indeed it does narrow down our results from 35,000 or so cases to 20,000. Uh, that is still a lot of cases. So what we're gonna do in the next few videos is we're gonna learn a few tips and tricks uh, for you to um, narrow down your search so that you get exactly what you want. So thanks for watching and um, if, uh, I hope that you will stay with us uh, and subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.